Hey guys, Martin Singen here bringing you a Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so today we are going to talk about one of my favourite topics, as you guys know, which is Dragon Ball Heroes. Um, I did put up a run earlier today that was taken from my birthday stream. Shout out to everyone who came by um, to help celebrate. I did a short stream in the evening on my birthday and we did do a Heroes run versus the Blue Zone uh, Super Saiyan Trio. Which I think is like, is it stage three? So obviously not the hardest event, but you know, it's nice to see even with events that came out recently, still being able to get some W's with the Heroes team. But that of course brings us to the subject of the video today, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail, which is to ask the very important question, when are we going to get information about the Heroes collab for 2024? Because we know for a fact that it is happening, right? They showed it in the roadmap in the producer letter, um, I, I personally was never in doubt, but obviously, as we know, earlier in the year, they announced that the Dragon Ball Heroes actual physical arcade machine um, was going to be, I don't know if discontinued is the right word, but just going to stop its like live service. New stuff was going to stop coming out and it was going to be replaced by a new game with new updated arcade machines, new cards and everything uh, called Dragon Ball Super Divers. Um, that was announced earlier this year, and so of course immediately people were wondering, does that mean we'll get Heroes collabs anymore? Um, now obviously we know that they plan Dokkan content relatively far in advance, so I was always under the impression that we would get one this year, because it's only, I think, just recently in the last month that the Heroes thing has actually had its final update, and we're very close to the time we get the Heroes collab anyway. So you would have thought they would have planned this stuff ahead for this year already, but it does, of course, call into question whether we will get Heroes collabs in the years after this. And that, of course, will lead to some very big questions, which I guess will be answered once we do start to get some info. Um, because, of course, every year we get a batch of easy A's. I will do a video closer to the time going over those because we know how they do those, like the order of the batches that they do them. So we do already know which eight units will get an easy A this year. Obviously, we don't know their kits or anything yet. Um, so I'll do a video talking about them separately. But one big thing is, obviously, if they're not going to do hero celebrations at all anymore, does that mean they're just going to easy A every other single Heroes unit that doesn't have one? Or are they still going to drop those easy A's at some point in the future, even though we don't actually have a full celebration? Will it just be replaced with any sort of like random crossover celebration? Maybe we get like in November next year, because I imagine DLC for will still be coming out for that game because it will just live forever. But will we get like a Xenoverse crossover celebration instead? And then Heroes units will just randomly easy A because they're also crossover units. Uh, we don't know, but some of that stuff will definitely be very telling once we start getting some information about this year's celebration. Because if we suddenly get some announcement, right, that all the units are easy Aing, that pretty much gives the impression there isn't going to be any more Heroes celebrations. But the important thing for this video is to speculate about when we are going to find out some information as well as what it could be, because the easy A's is a big one. The other thing that's definitely going to be very interesting is to find out who the units are going to be, not only because that is one of the most fun parts of the, you know, the build up to the hero celebration. Um, unfortunately, shout out to anyone that was there when we did the live react to the stream last time. And I had one of my OBS settings messed up. So when I was showing part of the live stream, no one could actually hear me. But my, uh, I definitely had a very hyped reaction when they showed Super Saiyan 3 Rose as one of the characters. Did not expect him to come this early based on the characters they were doing and the order of the sagas that they go in in the promotional anime for Heroes. I definitely thought he would come this year at the earliest, not last year. So that was awesome. So knowing who's going to come or w wondering about who's going to come is probably one of the most like, exciting parts. But the big thing is if we go back to last year's banner, uh, once they'd announced like the five new characters, they'd already shown the arts for the Awakenings for Metal Cooler and Janemba. So we knew that that would be the lineup for the banner because in the in the past, the format for the Heroes banner has always been the new units and then the units who are getting Awakenings, they are the featured units. However, last year, for the very first time, all the new units that came out for Dragon Ball Heroes all awakened into TUR straight away. Right, we've got the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, Super Saiyan 3 Rose, the Blue Berserk Controlled Vegeta, Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Broly, and Dark King Fu. 
They all awakened last year, which means if this year is going to be seven featured units as well, which it usually is, that means it will be seven completely brand new cards. Um, and in theory, if they are going to follow the same format, especially if, you know, there's not going to be any more hero celebrations, that means all seven of them are going to awaken as well, which uh, I can already imagine how much of a nightmare it's going to be on that first day. <laughs> Once we're done with the summoning, just how many medals are you going to have to grind from the new events to awaken seven characters? Like, it's bad enough when there's a dual Dokon Fest and you have two characters to do, but that's going to be interesting. So, yeah, potentially seven brand new characters. Uh, I'll do another video closer to the time speculating about who it could be and who I would like to see. Do go check out the video that I made. You can search for it. Uh, our boy Prof from the community made a custom celebration where he picked out the characters that would be in the celebration and provided a bunch of information based on the sagas from the promotional anime as to why like it follows along in order that it could be those characters, which is actually very good. So it's definitely worth checking out. I would not be surprised if most of those characters he picked actually do make it in because the reasonings that he provided definitely make a lot of sense. I know a lot of people really want to see Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Gogeta and of course he is the one that fights and defeats Full Power Rosé so it would definitely make sense for him to be coming soon. Also a Limit Breaker or Kaioken Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta would be super awesome. But anyway the question for the video is when are we potentially going to find out any information? So I did bring up a uh, thing here. I was looking through trying to find my old videos that I made uh, around the time for news. Um, so if we zoom out on this one a little bit. So this is the video that I made on the day that there was a Heroes live stream because the way we used to find out the very first teasers for the Heroes units is the Heroes anniversary live stream. So every year on the anniversary of the Heroes live arcade game, they would do a stream and obviously they would show a bunch of new cards that were gonna come out and all that kind of stuff. And then in that stream, they would give some teasers for Dokkan, right? They didn't show off like everything. Um, and then obviously we went to Twitter here to grab the screenshots because it's kind of the easiest way to make the video afterwards. But we can see here we got the uh, art for the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito once Dokkan awakened. And then of course we got the images for the Super Saiyan 3 Rosé and showing the secondary image because of course he transforms into full power Rosé. Um, and then they also showed on that live stream that Toa I don't know if they mentioned that she was the free-to-play free to unit. I think they did. But they showed her and her awakening. Um, and then the rest of the video, I think. Oh, yeah, they showed the Janemba and Metal Cooler arts. So, essentially, from this point, we already knew four of the units on the banner. Um, and then I was just kind of speculating about, like, the links and categories and stuff like that. So, we had some of the other characters up here. But this was on the 22nd of October. So, that was when the Heroes Anniversary live stream was... Um, now, we did have today, on the 17th of October, there was this Dragon Ball Super Divers live stream. Um, and I had a quick scan through it. It, was, well, it wasn't a live stream, it was a premiere, but it was about half an hour long. I had a quick scan through, and it wasn't until we got to here, about halfway through, from what I could see, let me know in the comments if I did miss anything, but this is the only time that Heroes got brought up at all. And I think this is, this is them just going over the mode that was talked about when Divers was announced, like way back when Heroes was essentially cancelled, I say cancelled, but announced that it was coming to an end. Um, you will still be able to use your Heroes physical cards on the Divers live arc uh, arcade machines, but only for a specific mode, right? So I think that this is just showing it here, right? Like that you can use your Heroes cards to do a special like heroes mode but that's the only mode you can use it in you can't use keep like keep all those old heroes cards and use them to do all the new gameplay stuff in divers but as far as i could tell from going through this this was the only time that hero uh, heroes was mentioned in the live stream um, and they don't show any like dokon cards or anything like that they just show like the divers cards and obviously a bunch of divers gameplay so no heroes information from this particular stream like I say, today is only the 17th, and this video, uh, the Heroes Anniversary stream, was on the 22nd. There is a possibility that they still do a stream, whether it's just another Divers one, or maybe they do some kind of, like, goodbye celebration for Hero stream or something, and then mention it, and that would be around the same date. Um, but then, as I say, that was on the 22nd of October, and then we had on the 28th of October, was it the 20th? Yeah, 28th of October, we put out this video 
Uh, this is where they then revealed on Twitter, because this is an actual image from the doke on Twitter, they revealed full power, <laughs> super full power Saiyan 4. Yeah, I love that. Limit Breaker, Super Saiyan 4, Broly, Dark King Fu, and the Berserk Controlled Vegeta. So obviously, going by that first video, knowing that we had Limit Breaker, Vegito, uh, Super Saiyan 3, Rose, and then the Awakenings for Metal Cooler and Janemba, then obviously Broly, Dark King Fu, and Vegeta made up the other set, like the other characters to fulfill that seven featured units banner. So that was on the 28th of October. So at that point, we already knew the seven main units from the banner and they had already announced the free to play unit as well. So what this means is if we're gonna get an update about heroes in terms of what could be coming, any kind of teasers, we should be expecting those in the next few days. Um, and if we do go over to, I did bring up the uh, divers like Twitter here. Um, this was the tweet about the stream for today. So first installment special release of latest information, less than a month until the launch. Um, but then this is one of their latest, the only other tweet they have is the one to say that the video is now live and up on the channel. Um, so there's no other tweets to announce any sort of future streams or anything like that. So it's worth keeping an eye on this divers uh, account to see when they do post any updates or anything like that but means we could see if we follow last year's trend we will be seeing heroes information sometime within the next week now obviously we have the world tournament over the weekend which of course for global is extended to last almost all of monday as well and then tuesday i made the video about it last night the sales go away on global but not on jp so we're probably going to be getting the release of roshi and or jiren and all that stuff will, of course, get posted about on the social medias and everything. So I would imagine at the earliest, it's going to be mid to late next week that we could see the first teasers for Heroes. But as of right now, with our main source of like the early information of Heroes being from that Heroes Anniversary live stream, which, you know, kind of makes sense that that's not going to be a thing anymore. We don't really know for sure when that first bit of information is going to come, but the Twitter reveal, like I say, was on the 28th of October, and that would be 11 days from now. So sometime within the next two weeks, we should get the first information about Heroes units for Dokon Collab 2024, whether it is via Twitter, whether there is a stream or a premiere or something like that. But of course, as you guys know, I will keep you up to date. As soon as I see any info about Heroes, I will let you guys know. And like I say, I'll make another video going over the units that are going to EZA and what kind of things I would like to see from their kits, as well as covering some of the other characters that I would like to see in Heroes. Because um, like I say, the one, the list that Prof made is probably like a realistic list based on the arcs of the anime and stuff. But there's a lot of characters that Heroes has not done that they could still do, which obviously gives me some hope that the celebrations will continue on into the future, like in the future years because there's definitely a few characters I would like to see that are not from the recent like anime arcs that they've still never touched. Some of the big ones being like Super Saiyan 3, Gogeta and Vegito. V Gogeta actually got a card recently in Heroes where he transforms through all of the Super Saiyan forms, including three, all the way up to four. So I'd really love to see something like that. But obviously, as I say, anytime we get any new Heroes information, you can bet I will let you guys know as soon as possible. So let me know what you think down below in the comment section. When are you expecting to see news for Heroes? What do you want to see? Who do you want to see as the headliner characters? Let me know all of your thoughts about the hero stuff down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out all the links down below, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.